Yes, cool. Charles, take it away, MicroShare. Good morning. Um, can I get a quick show of hands um, of who in the room is a startup, either a founder or working in a startup? Okay, great. Um, out of you guys, um, how many are in the software side? Perfect, great. Um, so um, I'm going to try and run through this quite quickly because I know that we're already uh, getting ahead of the, of the time. But uh, what I want to try and share with you a little bit is my, uh, my journey over the last five years. Um, we have uh, started this company, which is a software startup, as you may have guessed. Um, and we are at this you know, five-year overnight success. Um, so just run through a little bit quickly what, what we do. Um, we're all about monetizing the IoT data, um, allowing multiple people to access information that might come out from one sensor. That's really what we do in life. I'm not here to pitch my, uh, my, my work, but uh, that, that's the, the nuts of it. Um, this is my second uh, company that uh, I've founded with the same three people. Uh, why does that matter? Um, when you're in a startup, you've got to be working with people that you trust and that you know are going to be in for, for the long run. I can tell you the last five years hasn't been a, uh, an easy ride. It's not been uh, all uh, champagne and cocktails. Um, and you got to make sure that when you are in, in the roughs and things are hard, you got no cash, you don't know where your next, uh, your next payroll is going to come from, uh, you got to be with people that you trust. And I'm, I'm extremely lucky that uh, uh, the other uh, co-founders that I'm working with um, we have a lot, of, uh, a lot of trust, we know each other's strengths and weakness, and that means that we are able to, to go forward even when, when things are tough. Um, showing this slide, I'm not about talking to you about what we, uh, what we do, but uh, the point here is making it simple to understand what your product does takes a lot of work. Um, this relatively simple way of explaining what we do took three and a half years to get there, um, and we're still working on it. It's not finished. It's something that we, uh, uh, we still do all the time. So um, work extremely hard at, yes, you're solving complex problems, but make it really simple to pe for people to get it in a very quick, um, uh, simple way. So this is what we do. We get data from sensors. We do a bunch of things with it, apply rules, um, allow people to kind of think about how they're going to share that data, and then obviously we let people uh, access it on the, uh, the other end. Um, I'll skip it a little bit. This is just kind of the, the innards of the, of the system. It's probably, uh, for the interest of time, I'm not going to uh, go into that. Um, our routes to market, um, again, you've got to think very hard, as um, we were just saying a minute ago. You've got to start thinking about how you're going to sell this thing. It's not just about putting the, uh, the nuts and bolts together. Um, we've gone down having sort of really four key areas that, that we use to get our products to market. The first one is you've got to find some direct clients. You've got to find people who are paid engagements that are going to get you to prove that the solution end-to-end -end works. Um, and we've done a number of that with, luckily, uh, some very large clients that gave us that credibility when we go to uh, the next piece, which is what we call the OEMs. Um, we think our product is probably over time not something, something that every, you know, people buy to build a complete solution. We are part, one part of an ecosystem from the sensors all the way to analytics. And we kind of fit in sort of near the, uh, near the end, uh, but we certainly don't aim to be everything to everyone. Um, so we are working with a lot of very large companies that are going to take our product, embed that into their overall piece. That takes a lot of time. That takes a lot of convincing. Um, and so don't underestimate the time it's going to take for that. Uh, the third piece for us is the LoRa Alliance. So we joined the Alliance uh, about a year ago, and that just has been one of those uh, aha moments for us. Um, we found that the ecosystem, which had obviously done all that hard work of connecting the sensors and creating the networks, um, was just uh, really looking for um, something that we bring to the table, which is kind of actually how do you multiply the value of that data. Um, and working with the Alliance has been a, a real, real uh, business boost for us. And the final piece is, is the community. We are obviously at a community-led event here with the Things Network. Um, we do a lot of work with uh, various communities. Obviously, the Things Network is one of the things that, that we work quite a bit with. Um, we organize hackathons. We try and obviously give back some of the, uh, of the code that, that, we, uh, um, that we build to, to open source. So again, that's a great way to engage and kind of get some, uh, some success uh, through that route. Um, so four quick, quick learnings for, from my side. Um, especially if you're in the software, you are able to kind of iterate a lot. So get software out, get it tested and, and, and used by real uh, end users, um, and improve or abandon. We've done two major pivots uh, of our platform. The core idea and the core assets actually are the same, but we've ended up over time kind of abandoning a couple of things that we saw just were not working, and, uh, and you don't want to spend you know, bad, uh, good money after bad. Second thing is no one buys a platform. 
um, you got to try and find some vertical market in which you're going to get your initial traction. We ended up starting in building management. Um, we knew nothing about real estate or building management five years ago. We came from you know, banking and finance and uh, insurance. That was kind of our, our, our background. But we just found that the stuff we were doing was very relevant in an environment like this building where there's a landlord, there's a tenant, there's service people, there's people that come in and out who are visitors. So suddenly being able to share that data with all those various people gets um, a, a lot of interest. Selling to large organizations is just like selling to, uh, to a, a little country. Um, so we were trying to get into, as I said, OEMs, so very large organizations, yeah, IBMs and Microsoft and Cisco's of the world. This takes very thorough campaigns. This takes you know, tapping into all sorts of, of uh, uh, parts of the organization to kind of get some alignment for someone to finally say, yes, we, I think we want to start using you. We want to start paying to have your product within our, our, our family. Um, and then the final one, um, as I, obviously I think you already are uh, convinced, but you know, leverage and contribute to uh, open community systems. The Things Network is, is one of those great platforms where you, know, you have a, a tens of thousands, I think 30,000 was the, um, uh, the figure mentioned this morning, 30,000 developers around the world who are reading, using that platform. So if you, can, you find yourself uh, contributing and leveraging that platform, you're going to find that you get a lot more traction quicker. Thank you. Charles, thanks um, uh, for those. I mean, and anybody out here who's doing a startup knows that it's it's really tough. I, I've I've done three, uh, none of them have succeeded. I could write a book on how not to do a startup. Um, I could not write a book on how to do a startup. But also, the other thing, Charles, I should mention is not only did they join the Laurel Alliance, but then Charles jumped into the deep end as chair of our marketing or co-chair of our marketing committee to help drive where we're going. So, so it's been fantastic to have you on board.